this is a new segment. It's called um, Coffee with Clay. Wait, Clay's <laughs> no. here. Coffee about Clay. <laughs> All right, Miss Jenny. So we're gonna after Matt chat. Ooh, after Matt chat. After Matt chat. After, yes. Ooh, yes. That's <laughs> a, this is this is another this is another <laughs> after Matt chat with Ninja and Scout. So <laughs> go ahead, Scout. So you were telling me today you were rolling with, and we're gonna use you know some names that really aren't their names <laughs> to protect the innocent or the guilty as it may, as it were. So, you said you were rolling with, with Rib Man. With Rib Man. <laughs> okay, so what happened with Rib Man? We were rolling today down at Clay's. Clay's is awesome. Go to Clay's. Yeah, so, I'm rolling with Rib Man. Rib Man. And he kept getting me in this sweep. Sweeping me, sweeping me, sweeping me. Same thing, over and over again. There's nothing I can do to get that thing. So he stopped. I started laughing about it because I said that nothing I could do. So he stopped what he was doing to show me how to not get swept. Talk me through it. So he taught me. And then we continued. He might have got me again. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> it did. It did. What was I saying, too? I was going to say something. This is impromptu because we were having this conversation before we started the video, so it's a little bit reconstructed. If you're having a hard time, I'll go. Go. You go. Oh, you can go, and then I was going to tell you what I was going to tell you before. <laughs> tell me. You tell me. Oh, I was just going to say, um, that I, I was going to think about the video. Letting them take, um, letting him, since I'm not very, don't know all the offensive moves now. So, uh, so to learn, I was letting them get the arm locks and get the, the chokes so I could pay attention to how they were doing it. So, oh, okay, so you're yeah. like reconstructing it, like, yeah, and then, like I said, I'm good, I'm good escaping and reversing, so I work better off that anyway. So, I, but I gotta remember to pay attention while they're. Mm -hmm. I had a few really good roles today. I think uh, one of the best roles I had was with Tall Man. Tall Man, Tall Man. Tall Man, tall man you know who you are. Um, <laughs> he's very tall. And he's pretty big, actually. He's not, he's not, he's not unmuscular. He's actually pretty strong. He's actually very strong. He kept getting me in the half guard that I was telling you. So I flattened out on him <coughs> in, the, in the side mount. And I tried to put part of my weight on one side and part on the other, and drop my hip to the ground, and then pull my leg out of his half guard, like drag it along the ground to my hip. And then I kicked it up, kicked my knee up really, really fast, and I think I got his hip one time pretty hard. But I tried high mount, high mount, high mount, and spread his arms out. So it wasn't wasn't exactly north south, but I was you know really really high up. And when we tried to hip up, it was not affecting me because he was you know all my weight was from his shoulders up. And I hooked today. I learned that today. So I hooked underneath yes. his arm. Did you see that? No, I didn't see you doing it. Okay. But I, yeah. yeah. I hooked I just... underneath the arm and I held right by the lapel. So if you flip me, I wasn't going anywhere. I was still oh, right underneath. There. Yeah, yeah, like I underneath, like um, underneath, and then and then bring it around his arm and hold yeah, my hold I got, right yeah, I like that hold and, and yeah. play by Tommy. That was good. Yeah, it, it, it was a, it was it was a really good one. You know, he. I know he. I mean, I, I was I was putting a lot of pressure on his chest, so he. He ran out of air there at the end. He had to, he had to roll out, but uh, he's very strong and he's very intimidating with his size. So I felt I had to get control of his get control of his uh, upper body really quickly. Um, when he came back in, though, he was he was definitely much more focused. Um, and then I rolled with Clay Junior. <laughs> and he got he got me. He bent my arm. He bent my arm. Oh, he's good. He's yeah. quick. He's quick. He Boom, right on, those, bet, right on those arms. I bent his arm, both, you know, down and up. And his arm was like an exorcist. He, like, went around in a complete circle. Mm -hmm. oh, my, my, my arm can barely even go to 180. What is that? That's as far as it goes. I probably shouldn't be showing this on video because the people will be going to that. You know, they're going to know all your secrets. Yeah, all your, your, yeah, all your uh, weaknesses. You know, good, bad, and ugly. We put everything up. So, <laughs> you know about my arm. Go for my arm. 
But he knows my weaknesses. <laughs> Everybody except the tall man. Oh, I didn't roll with Clay today. I was going to, but then the sun made a sun. I rolled with Brian. Brian got a nice Kimura on me today. Oh, I mean, B Rai and. Oh! Ra- Brian? Ron. Ron. <laughs> Ron D. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ron D did amazing. He got, he got a nice Kimura on me. Uh, my hips were stuck on top of him, and he was pushing back and forth. and I was kind of just like balancing on him. I was trying to muscle the arm out, but I kept my hips on the wrong side. I should have turned my hips, thrown my hips back over this way. But, um, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I just let it go because I thought it would be stupid to Did hold on to it. Did he have you say you couldn't roll? I was on my right side with my right arm behind me and his body in between my arm and my hips. So I was on his. If they don't trap you, yeah. you can roll. roll. I felt that it would have been easier for me to prop up, get my hips, and put my hips over where my arm was. But he was doing a really good job of rocking back and forth, and he was timing me. And I was flexing the thing, but it's that, it's that same shoulder from the other day with the chiropractic adjustment. Uh, I felt that I could have, but then I thought, if I don't time this right, I'm going to look very stupid with a broken arm. You know? <laughs> so, you know, I tapped out of that. He did very good, though. Then after that, I stepped it up a little bit because I didn't like it. <laughs> I had a yeah, but Brian Brian stepped it up also. It was, it was uh, Brandy stepped it up also. Oh. It was good. I, I I keep falling into those those uh, leg locks, those ankle locks, and I'm terrible at them. But I know I, it's right there. Mm-hmm. I got it. <laughs> I should be able to do it. So um, I was going with the older boy. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's give him a name. Flat top. Flat top. Okay. I was going with flat top. <laughs> And I had that ankle, and he grabbed mine, and he was able to tap me out first. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back yeah. with those. You know, uh, I've Junior, never been able to do that. I don't like those, but since I, since I don't have ACLs, <laughs> I think every time somebody tries that, my leg is extra like extra bendy. <laughs> but they start doing that stuff with me, and I, I hate those things. So I try to just push their legs over and fold my body, either sit up into it. Or, you know, reverse and just come around. But I, I definitely, I don't like those. I did really good escaping those triangles. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't get anybody trying to give me a triangle. No, I think Clay tried to give me a triangle. I blocked it with my elbow. Mm-hmm. Blocked it with my elbow once or twice. He was, he was, he was real strong today. The first time I rode him, he, he came, came very aggressive at me. And he came over the top and boom, slammed me down. Um, I tried to turn on my side, but every time I tried to escape him today, he had that half guard, that's what I was asking him at the end of it. He's kept it. He had that half guard. Actually, all of them have a very good half guard. They train that half guard. They train that half guard really well. They're very strong with that half guard. I, you know, every instinct in me wants me to hold across and just start wailing away. <laughs> but you can't do that. I had, I had fun today. I like when we're going hard, I'm going hard back, and I love when they smile. Yeah. Because they're having fun, not because. They, they, they just beat the crap out of me. <laughs> I, I like... It's a good good feel, good feel. I like the ambiance there. I really like, I feel it's a family. You know, here we go, here's a pitch. It is a family. They're at Clay Jiu Jitsu. Um, I'm very happy. Uh, the Ramirez Boys Fight House and Ninja and Scout are very happy going down there and, you know, training with those with, with that tribe. It's, it's, they're good warriors and they're... Um, I don't, friendly is not the word to say because it's not warrior y, but it's honorable. They're very um, open and welcoming, and like like, you know, like Scout said in the beginning there, um, yeah, like sometimes the teaching moments in the middle um, stop and you know, you figure out and you can help because you get better if your opponent gets better. And that's something I learned today, especially with Brondi. I got it right that time. Got it right. So when he got that Kimura on me, his confidence boom, went through the roof. And it was not... In fact, I think he choked me right after that, too. But, um... After that, I overpowered him. Because I, I, you know, I didn't want to. I didn't want to continue getting choked and armed. But, um... I know that he came much stronger because he, he got that. He saw a chink in my armor, so he smelled blood. So he came for me. So instead of me just using my power on him the whole time, now, 
he brought his power. He realized his strength, it is enough to get. So he brought it. And I, that, that honestly was probably the best rolling I had tonight with Frondi. Not that the other guys weren't good. Or you, Clay. You were good, too. Um, I had a good time. Yeah. I learned a lot. I learned a lot today. Yeah, me too. It was awesome. It was awesome. We need to drag some of the uh, Fight House members down sometime. But uh, Fight House members, tactical defense coming up next week. And uh, we're going to get a good base um, of uh, broad, generalized tactical defense before we start our specialized training. Um, is that wrap it up for Aftermath Chat? Okay. This has been Aftermath Chat with your hosts, Ninja. And Scout. <laughs> Signing out. Oh my god, the chair's got me in a half guard. <laughs> oh, ridiculous.